Hey everybody, uh, it's Mr. Giles, and today I'm gonna teach you how to use some of the basic tools in sketchpad.io. Um, I'm gonna encourage you to take my video, drag it over to the side, and then play it over here while having sketchpad open over here. That way you can uh, do what I am doing while I'm doing it. I encourage you to pause me as you go so that you can get the most out of this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click new. Now if I love my creation, I will click export and I will save. And just to be really clear about saving, there's a couple ways to save. One, if you save it as a dot sketchpad, it will save all of your layers and like you have the ability, I'll just show you, like when you've done a sketchpad drawing, you can move things around. Like every item you've drawn, you can move an angle, which is really a cool feature of this program. But if I save it as a JPEG, export, save as JPEG, okay? I'm gonna just save this into my downloads. I'll call it Guy, okay? Save. Now I'm gonna, oh, let me see if I can open that by going to open, and I'm gonna open this. No, that's not what I wanted to open. What if it'll let me open that? Open, import. There's an import button way down here. Didn't notice it. Import. I'm going to open Guy. Let's see what happens when I open Guy. Now, this is a JPEG. Now, watch. See that? It's a whole picture. I can no longer move the elements. But the sketch pad drawing, see, look, it kind of, I think it auto saved that. The sketch pad drawing, no, that's not it. There you go. I just learned something. Um, so, if you want to be able to edit it more later, you're going to want to save the dot sketch pad. If you want to share it and turn it in, like uh, for my classroom, you would um, save it as maybe a JPEG or a PNG. Okay, let's get to it, the tools. Let's start with, now you have a lot of options here. If you like drawing on a grid, you could select grid, you could select blank, you can make your size bigger or smaller right here. I'm gonna leave kind of the defaults for now. I'm gonna use the grid just for fun. I haven't used the grid. And if you don't like the size, I believe you can adjust it somewhere. I don't know where, select. So you have your tools. If you don't have your tools, make sure to turn your tools on. I wonder if these settings here let me adjust the size of the file. Nope, not gonna mess with that for now. Okay, so um, let's go and click on the pencil. Okay, so now as soon as I select the pencil, you'll see that there's this drop down menu, there's these basic things. All graphic design programs have some of these basic elements. One of the most important things is learning how do I change my color? How do I select my tools? So pencil and then color. I believe it's gonna be black. Yep, look at that. There's your pencil tool. You're just drawing, okay? And it's cool because each of those items can be selected, I believe. Every individually drawn thing, so you can adjust it and drag it down. That's a really cool feature of this program. I really like it. Okay, number two, selecting the color. You just click on the out, for, for this tool, you click on the outline and you click on a different color, and you see that even changed the color of the object. Now that is really cool too. After I've drawn it, I can actually change the color. I love that. And then this whole thing I drew all at once, so I could change the whole color of that to a different color. All right, nice. Now um, I'm gonna go back to my tool and look under here, and you have all kinds of different tools. Tile brush, what is a tile brush? Ooh, I don't know, but I like it. That's kind of fun. Um, uh, I'm, gonna pick, I'm gonna pick a different color. And there you go. That's a tile brush. It's, it, it's, it's fun. I like how it fills in. Um, you can change the size of your brush right here. That's really big. I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo, okay? Um, so there's your tile brush. The other, uh, I wanna show you two other things. I wanna show you the line tool. This is great for people who are not artists. So line tool, every time I click, now I'm gonna click again it's gonna draw a line. And right now, and when I double, oh, I either click the end, you see it says close path, or if I double click, it will end my drawing. I'm gonna close this off. I'm gonna make sure it's connected. I'm gonna double click. And I'm gonna change the size. I'm gonna make it a little thicker. Let's try that. Yeah, look at that. Boom, that's a nice thick, thick line. I'm gonna close the path. Now, I'm gonna to go to the paintbrush tool. I love the line tool, by the way, that's so great. And if you hold down, you're gonna get a whole bunch of little pieces. And until you hit enter, you can actually drag those. Oh, I messed up. I, you can always control Z. 
I'm gonna hit enter and then control Z, 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 Z. I'm holding control Z right now. That's not working. Undo. Huh. Guess I can't undo that. All right, well, whatever. Oh, maybe I can erase it. Let's go to eraser. Oh, this is good for you to know. So I'm erasing and you'll see that, oh no, it's like, why is it erasing my checkerboard? Well, the checkerboard is actually, it's like your desk. It's the bottom layer. And a lot of um, programs do this. Um, I'm gonna just start a new one. Let's just go new. Okay, I'm gonna go back to grid. Create. Just know that at the bottom of everything is this checkerboard layer. Okay, now I am gonna go back to another tool. I wanna do line and I'm gonna do a line shape and it's still really thick. I'm gonna leave that, it's fine. I might change it a little less thick. Okay, and I'm gonna draw something else. Okay, and I'm gonna close those shapes off. Okay, um, maybe this is a person. Yep, maybe. Okay, double click, okay. So um, now I'm gonna go to the paint bucket tool. Where are you, paint bucket tool? Oh, it's right here, the, the pixel fill. And there's two options. You have vector fill and you have pixel fill. I like pixel fill because it fills inside of other stuff. So I'm gonna select pixel fill. I'm just gonna click right here. And right now I have this orange color selected or yellow or whatever. And um, you're gonna see this like line thing up here. And if you watch, if you grab it, you can actually, sh you see the shades of color because this is a shaded color. So you see these, I could change the options to different shades and you can stretch like how strong or where the center is. Um, you can click and I'm gonna hit enter and that commits it. You also have this thing called tolerance. That's really important, I'm gonna show you why. If I change the tolerance down to like 9%, I don't know if you notice, but there's lots of little white dots because I lowered the tolerance. So I'm gonna increase the tolerance and you'll see that it fills in. If you're having problems, you know, mess with the tolerance, that will help. And then um, you can also do, just do solid colors. So I can just do a solid color and it just fills it in. So that's kind of a nice uh, feature. And I'm hitting enter. And then you can always go back by using the selection tool. You can click on those and change that color. Oh my gosh, I love that feature. It's a really cool feature. Um, let's see, what else is important? Uh, shapes, there's a shape tool here and you can make all these basic shapes. So like drawing circles and things. Um, I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna change my fill. I want solid colors right now. I wanna make it easy for me. But um, and hit enter. And then you, of course, if you don't like where it is, you can click on it and you can drag it and you can, uh, when you select it, there's a little arrow so you can tilt it. You can grab a corner and stretch it out. You can grab a side and stretch it a certain direction. If you grab a corner, it's it evenly um, makes it bigger or smaller. If you hold down um, the shift key, it will let you do whatever you want with the size. If you let go, it will make it perfectly the shape that it started as. So um, go ahead and play with all of these different tools. Remembering that if you click here, that gives you your ability to select and you have so many things. I like fur, fur is kind of fun. It's great for hair. I like, I like changing that. And then I can change the color of that after the fact. Oh man, who knew, who knew? These guys, whoever made this program. Good job, Sketchpad. Um, so there's an introduction to tools, to saving, to moving objects around. Why don't you play with it? Show me something, maybe show me a tool uh, that you've created something really cool um, using this program. Thanks a lot, have a great day, bye.